All right, welcome back there, viewers. I decided to go ahead and start on the total screen. Let's show our progress so far. Uh, currently sitting on rank 85, so we're close to having the 101% because uh, for your brevity static, I actually managed to uh, get the punching mini game done. On my first oh, attempt at that. that. Uh, on my first attempt at that. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm actually very really proud of you, dude. I, I I know from experience that 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 is a real pain in the tushy. Uh, I've also got 16 out of the 19 chest, uh, vaults cracked. And 40 out of the 50 emotional baggage. We've, of course, collected all the uh, scavenger hunt items. And we still have a few brains to get. Yup. And with that there, viewers, we've got an Edgar to help. Hmm. What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. Now, coming into this level, you will want... I think around 200 arrowheads. So make sure you grind up some of them before you come here. And welcome to Velvetopia. House of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful. Perfect. And sad. All day she cries rose petal tears, and I can do nothing to help her, because my creation lacks something, and it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El Odio. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh <laughs> and we're thrusted right into the level. Exactly. It's, it's a really cool looking level, though. I, I will say that much. Oh. This is my second favorite level, and I love it purely based on its aesthetics. It can be a bit of a uh, pain to traverse and remember where everything is, but mercifully it is all linear. And like with most levels, if you have too much trouble uh, dealing oh with... Oh my god, oh. are you alright? Poor little guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Uh, maybe I can cover that up with a price tag or something. Anyways, like I was about to say before I was rudely interrupted by this talking dog, uh, if you're really having that much trouble collecting everything, it's not like you can't just come back and after you finish the level when everything's cleared. And this is why you want to come in with a bunch of arrowheads, because to progress, you need to purchase a bunch of this stuff. Enjoy your new art there. Enjoy I'm not going to bother buying any more than the singular rose, but for uh, before I progress on, I do want to head to the collective unconscious. Just for a brief moment. Because we got... All rooms open, except for that last one over there, but that's the last room. And all levels completely cleared. Nice. Fucking hate the Waterloo level. Uh, I, I have no shame about it. Once I got to Waterloo, I just used a guide to find all the fragments because I wasn't about to spend four fucking hours goddamn scavenging the entire fucking place for it. Alright, so with these paintings, we can open up pathways. Nice! Now I can get Edgar's cards. And do potentially other things. But right now, it's just the pathways. Neato. 
And this is the main gimmick of the level. You gotta avoid the bull. He won't kill you, which is surprising enough, but he will set you back a ways if you do get caught. Come here, bird! Most of the fragments, with the exception of a few, are relatively easy to get and uh, easy to spot. The problem with the few are either they're like these, where you gotta float to them, which, I mean, floating to a uh, fragment is sometimes really annoying, as uh, proven in Waterloo. Other times, the uh, fragments are just hidden in a very well-hidden spot. <sighs> there we go. And now to show what the painting does. Actually, I can't show what the painting does. So I need a frame first. It's a pretty simple puzzle, and yet I see a lot of people struggle with it. Then again, I am a D&D &D dungeon master and know all too well the uh, fact that sometimes people just struggle with the most simplest of puzzles. Yeah, and they, it's it's always a, a thing of, of uh, you, you get inside your own head and, and, and you overthink it way too much. <laughs> exactly. And hell, I'll fully admit, I'm prone to that exact same thing. I remember there was one fucking uh, riddle that I had from another Dungeon Master that, I mean, I was just slapping my face into a concave cavity when I realized what the fuck I needed to do. It was a, uh, the puzzle was you are looking at a bookshelf. In the bookshelf, there are the books, uh, labeled as Pull Me to Leave. Those were the, uh, books. And I kept trying to rearrange the fucking books, when in reality all I had to do was just pull the me book. And it took me like an hour. I, I'm gonna say, I, I, I feel like I know who, who that is, but... <laughs> oh, you 100% know who it is. Okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's one of the mini Alexes. Yup. One of the mini ones. <laughs> uh, so for you viewers, there are, uh, there's a bit of an inside joke going on with my uh, Discord server that I'm in. We've got something like, what is it, four Alexes, including myself? Five. Uh, five Alex's, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so this is the main gimmick of the level aside from avoiding El Odio. <laughs> we gotta do wrestling. Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the same man is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then. All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will <laughs> shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. So these boys are impervious to the side blast. They're also impervious to the, uh... Damn it. Uh, they are also impervious to the, uh... 
Nice try. Uh, pyromancy. Honestly, I find it's easier to avoid these fuckers with the levitate ball. Yeah. At least this fucker. How'd that hit? Just remember you can float. Exactly. And you can lift them. Though it... Uh, in this particular case. Though, not all the time. You can use that to get a cheap shot on him, though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sleep tight, kitty. And thusly, we've collected our first queen card. Nice. It will automatically shunt us back to this location, which we want to come back here anyways, because figments. Also a, uh, tag. Ah. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> Amazing how this is only day two of my recording and I've already uh, almost completed the game. That, I'm, I'm gonna be real interested to to uh, see how 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 uh, the, the, how you fare on the next game. Honestly. Oh, I am a hundred percent looking forward to the next game. The first game, I mean, it actually does make a lot of sense that it's a uh, that it's almost done. After only two days, because, I mean, Psychonauts 1 was a really <sighs> short game. And you know it very well. Oh, yeah. You've fallen in league with... This one was a real pain in the butt to get. Ah, that is exactly the card I need. And so by collecting the cards, we build a path this forward. Boy. I must have those queens. We could go through there to go all the way back to where we started, but I've pretty much collected everything from the start up until the tiger painting anyways. So we'll just take the tiger painting. And then wait right about here for that figment to come back so I don't have to go chasing it. Get your ass back here. Yeah, you hear a crime bag, but we can't get that at the moment. Ow. Well, that's what you get. What happens if you get uh, caught? You'll be uh, bumped all the way back. Ouch. Mercifully, it doesn't actually deal damage to you or take out any lives. How did I miss that one? Weird. The one I collected over here is still making noise. Uh, the other one you're hearing is on the other side of this wall, but we can't, or is up there, but we can't get that one yet. No matter how many times we try to uh, 
jump up there. I don't even think we got the tag for it yet. No, we don't. Remember, the uh, Levitate Ball is your friend in this level. Actually, your Levitate Ball is your friend in most levels. So I don't know why Rasputin is choosing to not grab the thing. Okay, seriously, dude, bro. Can you fucking work with me here, please? You don't need to go uh, up through there to get across, but I do believe that if you do take uh, uh, do take the uh, swing across this shit route, uh, you will get access to other fragments easier. Of course, it doesn't help when. Okay, fuck it. I'll get those fragments the alternate way. We want to show something else off. All right. Ah, invisibility. Invisibility, and you can use it to slip in through those. Uh... Come on, Dick. Did you really have to put me all the way back there? Uh... Of course he did. Yeah, I'm just fucking all this up all the way. Thank you, fucking dumbass. All right, wait for El Odio to go back through. Now there is a thing down there and getting it is a bit of a pain. So let's go on and nip into here real fast because I need pyromancy. God, that ricochet is so fucking useful. Well, it is. Okay, I got it set on fire. Which is what we needed. Climb, Rasputin! Come on back through, El Odio. Oh, there wasn't anything here. I guess I... Uh, uh, there's one of those that you do need to uh, burn to get access to something else. Or do anything there. Let's go on and use the rose. By dropping the rose painting, it spawns a rose, which you can use uh, to get into those windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which you can use to get into those windows uh, with the ladies in it without having to use invisibility. Nice, so far. Introducing. Fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings, Dragon! Yeah! What's that smell? 
smell. That smells like fear, boy. Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear. No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. That's sulfur. Uh, it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Oh, you can turn them on fire. But you gotta be careful because it says their hands on fire. And with their hands on fire, they can set you on fire. Have all the fire. And that should do it. Yep. Soon they'll be dragging your ass out of here. <laughs> hey, are you late? Did you hear that? Terrible puns, and I love them. I know, right? Then again, I am the kind of person that does genuinely enjoy dad jokes. Yes. Yes, you are. And, and, and sometimes you you, you slay, slay me with a cringe, and other times you're, you are right on the money. Man, I can still smell that guy. Pardon me, hello, Dio. Got another card for you. Here you go, Edgar. Ah, exactly the card I need. Please, boy, I'm. Plus, that was good. Wow, you really have nothing to say about the other psychic powers. Okay, let's make sure. Okay, I'm still missing two pigments in this area. Let's go on and grab it while I'm here. There's one. There's the last one hiding. Probably up. Because it's always one of the ones that's up. Yeah. There it is. All right. And with that, we'll see y'all next time where we'll hopefully finish up this uh, Velvetopia level. See, sure. you, see you soon. Cheers. See ya.